guys, it's Laurel here. Just wanted to share with you some of my favorite fonts um, to use with Christmas or other holiday projects. Thought you guys might find this useful. So before we get too far into it, I wanted to talk about the difference between a display font and a journaling font. Jur display fonts are best for titles and drawing attention. They're not as legible and they're larger and more decorative. Whereas journaling fonts are smaller and easy to, easier to read. They're better for typing large portions of text or just bigger portions of text in general. And the cool thing with those is you can find some fun, um, realistic handwriting styles and cursive ones that are out there that give your page a, a more real feel. So the first thought I'm the first font I'm going to show you is called Thirsty Extra Bold. I've got the full title up there on the screen to sh with the thumbnail. And I just wanted to show you a couple of my Journal Your Christmas pages. The first one is kind of a pink and craft one. It shows the title up in the right hand and it just looks really elegant there. And then the next one is one I'm doing for this year. And what I did with the, the Thirsty font was I uh, made it green and then I put a stroke or a border around it and then popped a drop shadow in there behind it, which made it look really, really cute and more like a sticker. So th that now if you look at this next thumbnail, you can see a little bicycle card where I've also used Thirsty. So now the second font I wanted to talk to you about is called Autumn in November, and it's more like a scripty type of display font. What I've done for you here is I've placed up a picture of my family's Christmas card, our photo card for this year. And where it says Rogers Family is where I used that um, autumn, in, autumn in November font. Yeah, that's what it's called. And it just adds a really nice, elegant touch to things. It's just so pretty and so beautiful. Now, another one that I just came up on recently is called Snow Winter. And if you look closely at the preview I've shown you up here on the screen, you can see that these are blocky letters, but they look like they have mist or snow or something shooting out from the letters. And I just thought that was so cute. So here's a, a Journal Your Christmas page I just recently did. It has my family's Christmas card on it. And along the left side, you can see that I did a title in the snow winter. And I used a, um, a layer effect to make it look more painty along the side. And it just looks really, really, really cute there. So that's another fun one I'll probably be using a little bit more in my projects. Now, the next font that I got for you, the last of the display fonts, uh, oh, that was Snow Winter was the last of the display fonts, sorry. Now, moving on to journaling fonts. Um, with journaling fonts, I like to pick ones that I know are going to be very legible and easy to read. And the first one I'm showing you here is called Zinicomit, I think is how you say that. It's kind of a funny word. It's thin, and it kind of looks a little like typewriter writing, but it's, it's just a, it's got that little thing more that I just like about it. It's hard to describe. But I've got another Journal Your Christmas page from, uh, this was from 2014. And although I didn't use it in journaling, you can see that it created a nice clean title. It looks very, very good. And I, I just love using that one. It, it's just such a fun font. The last font I wanted to share with you is one that I just barely found and it's called KG Sorry Not Sorry. And it's so cute. Uh, there's a font maker out there um, and her initials are KG. I'll have her name down for you in the description bar. And I haven't used this one yet because I just found it, but I really like this font because it's still got an element of fun to it, but it's clear and legible and it would be, it would make a great font to journal with. So anyways, guys, this one was short and sweet. I hope that you will maybe want, find a way to use some of these cute fonts in your projects. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season and I'll talk to you later.